OK. Um, I put in the fourth piece, so now they all fade out at the same time. Now, I used four layers to do this, layer two, three, uh, four, and five, each character on a separate layer, all motion tweening from keyframe 35 over to keyframe 65, but it would have been a lot easier if I just put all four of them into one movie clip. So that's what I'm going to try to do on this next uh, go around. So I'm going to make a new layer, layer 6, and right when they start fading out, right here, is where I want my new characters to fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a keyframe right there, okay, at 35, because that's where I want my new characters to fade in. So as they fade out, the new music stars are fading in. And I'll go to my library and I'll get uh, music stars here. So let's see here. I'll grab her. All right. And then I'll grab him. All right. Put him right here. And, and then let's say Dolly. Put her in there. Okay. Good. And I'll put him over here. Okay, so now I've got these four new faces here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll turn off all the eyeballs except for the layer I'm working on so that I kind of have a feel for what it's going to look like. All right, that looks, I don't know. Okay, I might switch these two. Whoops. Not so happy with the way they're lining up. So if I put him over here, over here. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. All right, so now I've got them lined up here. What I'll do is I'll select all four of them and then hit F8 to turn it all into a movie clip. So now it's just one big movie clip. And so this whole thing will be a lot easier because I won't have to do it over and over again. So what I'll do is, is I've got the keyframe here. That's where they're starting. Then they're going to fade in to here, F6, right? So now I go to the first keyframe, select them, property window, alpha, zero. Okay? Select the keyframe, right? This is very important. Select the keyframe, and then go to the property window, because now the property window reflects the frame, not the movie clip. And put a motion tweak. So now they'll fade in right like that. Then I need them to exist for 35 frames. So 65 plus 35 will be 100. So F6. So then they'll stay on the screen until there. And then they'll fade out. I'll go to 130, hit F6, and select them. And go to Alpha, set the Alpha to 0 back to the previous keyframe and set the alpha. Oops. No, no, no. That's not what I want. They're going to be at 100. They will be at alpha 100%. Then at 130, I need F6, I need a keyframe, and then they will alpha down to 0. I will go to 100 again. And click on the keyframe, not on them, and set the motion tween. So now they'll fade out. So as you can see, 
they'll fade in, stay on the stage a while, and then fade out. Okay. Um, I can turn on all my eyeballs again. You'll see that as they fade out, the others fade in. As the first set of music stars fade out, the new set fades in. If I hit Control Enter, we'll take a look at the movie. There it is. There they are. They fade out. The new ones fade in. And then, oh, the screen went to um, blank. I've got to go to my background layer and make sure that my background layer has the proper amount of frames. F5. I think we ended at 130 F5. All right, so that's that's that. And now I'm going to do something pretty interesting. Um, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to copy. Let's see here. I'm going to need my first four keyframes right here. One, two, three, four. These guys. So I'm going to copy them. Copy frames, and at the end, I'm going to paste them in right here so that they'll fade back in. So I'll hold that down, and then paste frames. All right, and now they they're going to come back. Of course, I didn't want them to be here the whole time, so I'm going to go here and insert blank keyframes. So they're gone. They fade out, the other guys fade in, they exist for a while, and then they're going to fade back in eventually. So what happens is, there they are, I'll get keyframes for them, F6, here, I'll turn on the eyeball on that, and Fade them out. Alpha zero. Alpha zero. Alpha zero. And alpha zero. I will put motion tweens on each keyframe. Whoops, motion, motion, and motion. All right, and then what we'll have is turn the eyeballs back on. When they fade out, the other guys will fade back in, and then they will exist for 35 frames, which will take them to 65. F6. And on my background layer, hit F5. And so now the whole timeline is reflect, reflecting correctly um, what's happening. I'll play it for you. They're there. As they fade out, the other guys fade in. They stay for a while. And then as they fade out, the other guys fade back in. Solid. And then when the whole thing loops, you'll never notice a break in the action. They fade in, they fade out. Right? They fade in, they fade out. Okay? And what I probably want to happen is, I probably want um, this group to stay a little bit longer on stage. So what I'll do is select all the way down and then hit F5 to add more frames for them so they can stay on stage twice as long. So I'll just do that and play it. Say, okay, they stay on for that long. All right, then they stay on for a while. And then they stay on for a while. They stay on for a while, and that's the way it works.